Ezra Venechemiah, Ezra 10. Now, when Ezra had prayed, and when he had confessed, weeping and casting himself down before the house of Elohim, there assembled unto him out of Yashadel a very great assembly of men and women and children, for the people wept very sore. And Shekinyahu, the son of Yahiel, one of the sons of Elam, answered and said unto Ezra, We have transgressed against our Elohim, and have taken strange women of the people of the land. Yet now there is hope in Yashadael concerning this thing. Now therefore let us cut a covenant with our Elohim to put away all the women as such as are born of them, according to the counsel of Adonai, and of those that tremble at the commandment of our Elohim, and let it be done according to the Torah. Arise, for this matter belongs unto you. We also will be with you. Be of good courage and do it. Then arose Ezra and made us the chief priests, the Leviim, and all Yashadael, to swear that they should do according to this word, and they swore. Then Ezra rose up from before the house of Elohim and went into the chamber of Yahukanan, the son of El-Yashiv. And when he came thither, he did eat no bread nor drink water, for he mourned because of the transgression of them that had been carried away. And they made proclamation throughout Yahuda and Yerushalayim unto all the children of the captivity, that they should gather themselves together unto Yerushalayim. And that whosoever would not come within three days, according to the counsel of the princes and the elders, all his substance should be fortified, rather forfeited, and himself separated from the assembly of those that had been carried away. Then all the men of Yahudah and Binyamin gathered themselves together unto Yerushalayim within three days. It was the ninth month. On the twentieth day of the month, And all the people sat in the street of the house of Elohim, trembling because of this matter, and for the great rain. And Ezra the priest stood up and said unto them, Ye have transgressed and have taken strange women to increase the trespass of Yashadael. Now therefore make confession unto Yahuwah Elohim of your fathers, and do his pleasure and separate yourselves from the people of the land and from the strange women. Then all the assembly answered and said with a loud voice, As you have said, so must we do. But the people are many, and it is a time of much rain, and we are not able to stand without. Neither is this a work of one day or two, for we are many that have transgressed in this thing. Let now our rulers of all the assembly stand, and let all them which have taken strange women in our cities come at appointed times, and with them the elders of every city, and the judges thereof, until the fierce wrath of our Elohim for this matter be turned from us. Only Jonathan the son of Asheel, and Yahaziah the son of Tikva were employed about this matter. And Meshalam and Shabbatathai, the Leviim, helped them. And the children of the captivity did so, and Ezra the priest, with certain men, rather, with certain chief of the fathers, after the house of their fathers, and all of them by their names, were separated and sat down in the first day of the tenth month to examine the matter. And they made an end with all the men that had taken strange women by the first day of the first month. 
And among the sons of the priests there were found that had taken strange women, namely of the sons of Yahusha, the son of Yahut Sadach, and his brethren, Maase Yahu, and Eli Ezer, and Yariv, and Gedel Yahu. And they gave their hands that they would put away their women, and being guilty, they offered a ram of the flock for their trespass. And of the sons of Imer, Hanani, and Zevadyahu, and of the sons of Harim, Maaseyahu, and Eleyahu, and Shemeyahu, and Yakil El, and Uzeyahu, and of the sons of Pashkur, Eliyahu, Ainai, Maaseyahu, Yishme El, Nathanael, El, Yozavad, and Elasa. Also of the Leviim, Yozavad, and Shemi, and Keliyah, the same is Keliyah, rather, the same is Kelita, Patankya, Yahuda, and Eliezer. Of the singers also, Eleshiv, and of the porters, Shalom, and Telem, and Uri. Moreover, of Yashadel, of the sons of Parosh, Ramya, and Yezeyah, and Malkiyahu, and Miyamim, and Eleazar, and Malkiyahu, and Beneyahu. And of the sons of Elam, Matanyahu, Zachariyahu, and Yachiz El, and Avdi, and Yermoth, and Eleyahu. And of the sons of Zatu, Eleyahu, Enai, Elashiv, Matanyahu, and Yermoth, and Zavad, and Azeza, rather, Aziza, of the sons also of Bevai, Yahuchanan, Hananyahu, Zakai, and Athlai, and of the sons of Bani, Meshalam, Maluk, and Adayahu, Yashuv, and Sheol, and Remoth, and of the sons of Pachath, Moab, Adna, and Kalal, Benayahu, Maaseyahu, Matanyahu, Betzal El, and Buni, and Menashehe. And of the sons of Harim, Eleazar, Yeshayahu, Malkiyahu, Shemeyahu, Shimon, Binayamim, rather Binyamim, rather Binyamin, Maluk, and Shemariyahu. Of the sons of Chasum, Matanai, Matanathaya, Zavad, Eliphelet, Yeremai, Menashehe, and Shemi, of the sons of Bani, Ma'adai, Amram, and Uel, Meneyahu, Beneyad, rather, Beneyahu, Bedeya, Keluhai, Vanya, Mereoth, Erashiv, Matanyahu, Matanai, and Ya'asu, and Bani, and Buni, Shimi, and Shalom Yahu, and Nathan, and Adayahu, Maknad Bai, Shashai, Shari'ai, Azar, rather, Azar El, and Shalom Yahu, Shalom Yahu, Shalom, Aram Yahu, and Yosef, of the sons of Nebu, Ye'iel, Matith Yahu, Zavad, Zevinya, rather, Zevina, Yido, and Yoel, Beneyahu. All these had taken strange women, and some of them had women by whom they had children.